hi what's up how is it going today's video we are going to be looking at how to uh, create background from scratch you know being a designer you need to know how to create background from scratch you know that shows you are a professional so without further ado let me show you how to go about it so right now go over and change your page to a5 uh, if or rather it, it depends on the size of uh, anything you want to design so let's use a uh, a4 so right now let's head over to uh, what's it called rectangle tool so create an object on top of the uh, drawing page to fill in then you go ahead and change out to white so what we're going to be playing around is purple then the darker side of purple so to complement it all we are going to create you know uh, what we call uh, a very creative uh, you know object to lens it to lens it into the background and uh, show the beauty of the background in which uh, we want so without further ado let's just step on it so right now what we need to do is to head over to your what's it called so let's create uh, head over to your polygon to create a perfect polygon just like so after that go ahead let's make it you know cyst angle so go over to this place and make it 180 for, for a perfect you know uh, standing of our object so as this right now let's make a copy inward good so what we need to do now is to go ahead and just copy combine control l when you combine let's change that to our uh, pop was first so after that so let's just try and uh, make it copy upward then control r for a repeat so after all of that so let's reduce it just like so good so what we need to do now is to go ahead, let's group it all up go ahead and just make a copy downward just like so good control r for a repeat good so after i have done that so let's make a copy again forward just like so gonna have it this way hit control r for a repeat as well good i think we are good to go with that select the whole thing right click on this to set the outline to none so after all of this let's group that aside so right now let's go to the main object which is the background so what we're going to be doing now is to make a copy downward then head over to blue then hold control key and keyboard tap on red you know to get your desired purple just like so good so head over to your what's it called interactive field tool let's drag on the object so it brings out you know these two color uh, dots you know so right now we're going to click right here click the white then we change it to a darker you know purple just like so good can you see that so our next step right now is to go ahead and just right drag this on top of the main background just like so and uh, so when it pops out and choose copy our properties can you see that so right now what we're going to be doing is to go over and bring the object that we created so let's change that as a white so let's reduce it just like so good let's go ahead and convert the background uh, the object to a bitmap it's okay so after that all we need to do is to go ahead and just let's go over to uh to effect locate blur so right now what we're going to be doing let's uh, try further this weather is done nice so what we're going to be doing now is to head over to uh effect locate you know uh look at creative then you hit on fitness good good it's okay so let's reduce that let's see the effect of that this is quite nice so what we're gonna be doing now is to head over to our what's called transparency tool then you click on uniform transparency automatically it's uh 
you know apply so what we're gonna be doing now is to just make it a bit you know wider good so let's back clip this into place so let's let's lessen it up uh, a bit just like so good that's nice so right now our next step right now is to head over to background then head over at your what's it called you know interactive uh feel to let's go over and change it to a uh, elliptical fountain so in that case we are going to change the direction of that so let's turn this to a uh, purple tap on red good then go over to the uh what's it called the instrument which is this so let's change that to a darker color that takes you here can you see the outcome of that so so right now we're gonna be doing now is to head over and just change this to a uh, purple tab good so right click converts uh, to curve so head over to your shape tool so right now we are going to just pull this angle down pull this angle up just like so so let's right click on the line on this line convert to curve so mind you if you didn't if you did not convert this uh, uh, line to curve you won't be able to maneuver it just like this so after that go ahead and just if you want to make it a little bit swaggy just put this up then drag this down extremely good so make a copy center it within the previous one then let's go over and just pull this angle up a little bit so right now let's change that to y hold control key on keyboard and tap on page down automatically it automatically sent to back so here we are at the finish line of what we are doing now most uh, expensively uh, as i truly want to put it you can see the outcome of what created so far so right now you can put your picture right here if it's a birthday design or a funeral uh you know poster most definitely this is a, a suitable background for it if you use this it's going to be classic then you put all your test right here so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now